well his plants are. Three years ago, we got tired of just having grass out here. So we have uh, started putting various plants in here. We've got some dianthus and some of these other things. I've forgotten what the names of them are. This thing looks real raggedy. It's one of the chamomiles that uh, it's pretty well gone past it. And what I have done a lot of out here is put in things that will that are aromatic as well as being pretty. This uh, piece right here we're going to have to take out because it gets too leggy and it just looks, not, looks does not look that good. Okay. Right over here we have uh, one of the tines. We've got about uh, seven or eight different kinds of thyme out here and I use them. There, this is one of the larger, the larger ones and then we have one that's down in the uh, in the walkway and it's to step on and it's quite aromatic when you have it to step on and then uh, over in here these small daisy looking things it's a roman chamomile that is very aromatic too bad this is not smell vision but uh, I'm going to have this out in the walkway here then I have I have uh, a scarlet thyme out here that I'm going to have in this half of the stepping stones. And uh, there's another thyme. This is a caraway scented thyme right here. I just got it just recently. And uh, this plant right here is burnet. And it's edible. You can use it in uh, salads uh, when, when it's tender. And this right here is one of my scented geraniums. This is a green apple geranium, which is smells very similar to green apples when you smash them. And then we have uh, various, uh, this is a lemons, one of the lemon scented geraniums. And then the large piece over here is also a lemon scented geranium. What is this in the center here? This is borage. Okay. I've got uh, all over on the other side over here, I have some borage that's in bloom. This is fairly new, this reseeded. As you can see, I've had to pull a lot of it out. Mm -hmm. It overpowers out here. There's another one of the geraniums. Uh, one of these is a coconut. Either this one or the other one. Or this other small one is a coconut scented geranium. And they really do smell because we come out here last night and walked on them and crushed them and that sort of thing. It was interesting. Then we have uh, another one of the times here. And uh, then I'm not sure which which time this one is right here. I, but if I see them and if there's no name on them, I still pick them up and bring them in and plant them. But now in this area right here, I have gold thyme, which is a, a lemon scented also. And then over in here, which almost croaked on me, is a, a silver thyme. And I have another kind of, we see there's a little contrast between this one and, and the other thymes. And then here's one that's very low growing. That's a thyme over there that's very low growing. And I'm going to use it in this, my stepping stones as well. And then I have some grasses. <clears throat> this one has a very interesting seed pod when it comes up. Mm -hmm. This one right here has a very interesting seed pod. Okay. And uh, this is a blood grass from Japan, which is quite a runner. I've got to get it contained or else it's going to take over the bed out here. But it's, I really like the contrast out here. Mm -hmm. Give some, Pretty. give something other than just plain grass to look at. And then I have some more thyme. This is white thyme. The reason why it's called white thyme is the blossoms are white. They're very teeny. They're only about a quarter of an inch across. And then I also have a, a woolly thyme out here. And the leaves are quite fuzzy. I've never seen any blossoms on this one as of yet though. And I've forgotten what the names on these are. They're a nice little clumper, and uh, most of this stuff is only hardy here in California. Some of them will take some degrees of frost. Mm -hmm. 
the uh, purple things here, they've been in bloom for about a month and a half now, and they'll continue for possibly another month. It's a Nimbergia, and they'll come up reseed. They'll do they are perennial, which also reseeds readily. So I started with one plant, and then I've had several other plants come in here. Like back there. Mm -hmm. And then these uh, plants right here are garlic chives. This one right here happens to be a, a variegated garlic chive. And over here is another garlic chive, the standard. Now you can use these in your, as as you would chives as a garlic garlic uh, flavored chive. And they're quite striking when they're all in full bloom. They're a little bit past prime now. And just another grass. It's interesting, various colors. And over here we have a one of the rosemaries, it's one of the uh, low-growing rosemary. It doesn't get much higher than this. In fact, I have to trim it back to keep it from overtaking the bed. Rosemaries will grow up, you know, four or five feet high readily. And we have some more uh, the Roman chamomile and one of the Scotch moss or Irish moss. This one right here is. But anyway, I uh, put this in out here to give something for people to look at besides grass. Yeah, and I got to take a picture of these irises over here. This Those are a, a, a Japanese iris, uh, sometimes called Fortnite belly. They're really pretty. And easy care. They, they put a flush of bloom on like that every, about every two weeks. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's and they great. Bloom, and they bloom fairly well throughout the year. There's probably only about two months out of the year that they're not blooming. Inside the fence, they have a gorgeous fence here. A nice tree here. It's a Norfolk pine. Yeah. The Norfolk pines don't look that thick. That full. This is his driveway. <laughs> what used to be the driveway. Vegetable garden. And that's the entrance to the house. Broad. Kanga, come here. Come here, Kanga. Here, Kanga. This is iron layer stuff. Oh. Come on, boy. lemon tea out of it. Oh, I've heard of that. Lemon, you see that sugar. all the time. Okay. And uh, just someone's got some uh, miniature roses over here, and that's the only kind that she'll, she can have here in the house because the others are too big to pull up and throw away. Mm -hmm. It's a giant bird of paradise that you're looking at. Yeah. And, uh, you can probably get a shot of the shot of the Oops, here. There it is. This is the giant bird of paradise. This is the sign underneath it. Go back a little ways here so we can see the top of it. I'm going to go up, 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 up. This is how big it has gotten. And this is one of the blooms, but it's past its prime. Almost two years. What is this? Is this baby's breath around? Baby tears. Baby, baby tears. tears, yeah. And the reason why it's called baby tears is because the least little thing will dry it up. The least little thing will dry them up. Mm. Those are hard to grow back home. You grow them in the house. Yeah. My mother used to have them in the house in a little pot when I when we lived back there. Okay, now we're gonna get to the water plants. <clears throat> uh, we got this is out on our driveway, and I've got various water plants and ferns and just a hodgepodge of things. 
And barrels. <clears throat> and barrels and tubs. There you go. If you look right over into this thing right over in here. Yeah. These are ferns. They're a marsilia. They're a water fern. Oh. And I have them sitting in a, in a tray so they keep their feet good and wet. And there are, I don't know, 25 species of them. And they take full sun. I know they don't look like ferns, but they are. <laughs> These are the ones I like. These right here, these yeah. uh, water hyacinths. Yeah, you sent a couple of those home with me and I tried. Take some more of them home. Uh, you don't want to let these out in the water, out in the wild water raising, except you can do it in Ohio because they'll freeze out there. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I don't know why I've got so many aphids on my uh, water lilies down here. Maybe they're not being fed well enough or something. What is this pretty little thing? This is a blue hibiscus. It's mm. not a true hibiscus, but it's, I think it's come from Australia, I believe. And it's, it would take a lot more drought than, uh, than your normal tropical hibiscus. <clears throat> I have the shade over this, over this barrel right here because I have ferns inside there that when they have shade, they stay greener. Mm -hmm. And then I have some contrasting ones that are in full sun over in the next barrel. This is where our little resident frog lives in here. He just came here about three weeks ago. Uh -huh. Poor guy hasn't got him a mate yet though. And he's really loud. <laughs> and then right over here is the same kind of fern that grows in full sun. Hmm. And uh, it, when it's in full sun, why it's red like this, but it floats right up on top of the water. Commonly called a mosquito fern. Okay. Because it grows so thick, mosquitoes can't grow down there. This thing right here is a little, is a little, uh, in, a blossom from a little carnivorous plant that grows down inside the water. Hmm. That's interesting. We've got uh, some palm trees, some of their seedlings, and some I've bought some of their seedlings from the neighbors. And then the tree ferns, the larger tree ferns. A friend of mine gave them to me because they were dying in his front yard. And Those I are gorgeous. Bring them out here, and uh, as long as I keep water on the trunks, they'll grow. But if I, if you don't keep water, keep the trunks moist, well, then they get very sick and dry up. Hmm. But they will grow out here in the full sun as long as you keep the. Uh, they don't. They don't look as great as they would if they had some shade. But I don't have the shade for them here. Right. I got four different kinds of horsetail in here. I got this one, and this one right here, horsetail minuta, Equisetum minuta, mm -hmm. and then another one that's rather curly. That just I just planted this about uh, a month ago, and it's starting to take hold. You can see the new ones coming up in here. Mm -hmm. And I got another horsetail back here, another Equisetum and then a couple of grasses, and then a, a fern, one of the uh, one of those clover ferns, the marsilia, the marsilia minuta, which I'm hoping to take this into the show one of these days, uh, ah. this, this fall. What's that right behind it? It's a, this one right here? Yeah. It's a palm, a phoenix robolini, I believe is the name of that one there is. That is really pretty. We have a taller one out front. This, this plant right here, too bad you can't grow back there, but it, this this uh, shrimp plant, the hummingbird just love this thing, and it grows and blooms almost all year long. There's could a little you take bracket. that inside? Yeah, you can take it inside. See the little little, little uh, sweet things right here. Yeah. Kids like to kids like to take that from the uh, from. There's the puppy. The puppy. We wouldn't have time to plant here. It's called a voodoo plant. Getting some of his grasses out here. <laughs>
With the one right in front of me? No. Yeah, the one right in front of me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don's going to get this one out that I really like. It's got little uh, wounds on it. Yeah. Like a star. I can have to zoom in on that. I just got back from having oil put in the van. This is a little border going up to the front door. Do you know what you want to take real close up? You get up within a three-eighths of an inch. It's Rafus. Rafus. Rafus Humus or Rafus? I don't know. It's one of the palms, though. It's pretty. It's a Rafus. We got various palms there. These are cycads. These are uh, cycus revolutas. Oh, that's what's real. These, and, uh, they're, they're not a palm. They're a cycad. This is getting new fronds right in the center. See the new fronds pushing out on, on this one right here? Okay. Zoom in on that. I know, but it doesn't. That's where I had it that other time. I tell you what, it gets really hard when you hold this upside down. As long as I've been doing it. Okay, this is what I want to a picture of real close. How close do you want? Of course, snails have probably died though. Oh, yeah, there's there's water snails, yes, there's that. And look at these little teensy tiny. Now that's too. There is all of. That's where it's. A point to them. You're getting, in, you're getting your shadow over. Yeah. You probably should get back on this side over here. We're trying the mic macro. better down in there though. Those are those are ferns. They don't look like a never rock full sun here. They're ferns, so little tiny ferns that grow on the top of the water. What about your uh thing that's blooming? <coughs> well the blossoms that's a, a uticularia, which is a little carnivorous plant. So keep your fingers out there. It's carnivorous. Oh, okay. <coughs> this uh, is our... Probably 818. They almost got some tomatoes in their hand. This, this is on their tomato tree. They have all kinds of neat stuff here. That big thing is a tomato tree. We got... Uh, Frozen last year and we had to cut it all back. This is his uh, Italian cucumbers. Okay, Long and skinny. Really neat. They're like a real firm, like a, like a, uh, one of these uh, pear tomatoes, you know, the, the Italian tomatoes, uh -huh. the paste tomatoes. Uh -huh. They have a texture somewhat like a little, little more firm and they're rather tart. Actually, what do you do with them? The best thing to use them for is uh, preserves. Ah, yeah. Best thing, as far as I'm concerned, is to use them for preserves because, I, I, as far as eating them raw, I can't eat them raw. The hibiscus. Yeah. Uh -huh. The blooms on it are very insignificant, but. Uh, now, what is this little fuzzy thing down here? It's a little. It's a water, water plant. plant. 
grows on top of the water. Mm-hmm. And it's just, a parrot plant is the common name for it. I've forgotten what the real name. But they grow up on top of the water and just real feathery and just really nice looking. And what's this? The big green thing is a chayote squash. And they're uh, about the size of a large pear. And they're a squash from out of Mexico, but they're used in various ways. They they, you can use them in any, in any squash recipe, or any zucchini or that kind of thing. I'm zooming in on your staghorn. Oh, okay. On some of our, these are some of the ones that we mounted up for sale. Because we bought one, a big one, and chopped it all up. We growed like this before. We always had a basketball uh, net up out here. And they were always flattened down to the ground. So this is the first time we've ever known what they the camera like. really. Patty Ho that we'll just pan across here. We, uh, we've been trying to get rid of the bathtub so we can uh, dig this up and redo it in here, but we haven't found anybody. Door on the, in you, the back. Yeah, why don't you, why don't you, uh, I want to get it focused so I can get more up there. Okay, now go ahead. Now what I thought you could do is, you know, put your camera down and take a look around before you before you start filming. Okay. You know, they're, it's just it's just too tight together uh -huh. to really be able to see what the devil is. Here. I think so. I think so. Okay, what are these, Don? These are platycerium. Most of them are bifurcatums. Uh, various sizes, various kinds of bifurcatum. Some of these have, have just been mounted just recently. Mm -hmm. just right here. Mm -hmm. They're small. The, the fronds don't get any bigger than this, so it's a nice one for indoor indoors because you get some of these larger and they're just too large to, be, to use inside. I'll just go along here and pan along there. Superbum, or Platycerium superbum. It used to be called a brandy. Look at that pretty light, the way the light shines, shows the different. That's, That's one fun. thing I love about the forest and going through the forest is all the different colors of green. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, That's right here is one of another Asplenium. This is Asplenium bulbiferium, or mother fern, mm -hmm. which is the same family as your uh, bird's nest that you have. Okay. I got to get around here and mm -hmm. show this bird's nest up here. Up here high, we have beautiful. This is not going to show up very good. The Valutrichum minoides. Yeah. Right here, it's one of the easiest basket ferns to grow. And then on over to the left, you want to go on over to the panel on over the left. The next one over is an Aglomorpha Roberts. Mm -hmm. And it gets a large basket, large basket uh, ferns in there. What's this next big one? The next one? one right here, this is a. Uh, hmm? Come on, hon, what is it? Aglomorpha. No, no, this one. This is a uh, Polypodium subdiculardum nidi, and the fronds on this will get, in this locale, right here in this area, they will get about two and a half feet long. Oh my. Uh, in a better environment, they'll get about three and a half feet long, and they get, all the leaves go off every year. This one right over here, oh, which one? Yeah, okay. This one right here is a Devalia Fijiensis major, and the, I like the rhizomes coming out on this. This uh -huh. is very interesting. And, and that next big one up there? Over here? Yeah. This one? This is a uh, Pyrosia uh, oba. It's one of the uh, Pyrosia's fire. And the reason why it's called fire ferns is because on our, underneath of the leaves, of the, the fronds, the hairs are reddish. It's a Hoya. It's in full bloom right now. And we have mm -hmm. them all up and down the, uh, this is one that's just starting to open up. Get that or not. Yeah. Well, you know more of the botanical things than I do. I just know the uh, common names. I don't know the botanical names. That is, am I right? Yeah. Pity Cladum. H U M A L O C L A S S I U M. Mm -hmm.
Um, one like mom had. <laughs> Pretty little purple flowers on it. Right now, uh, it's um, that's the one the worm gave me a start of. And just every year it keeps getting bigger and bigger. And it blooms for about um, a couple of months. Have a whole bunch of little pots here. Oh, little maiden hair. Oh, okay. Now these show up really good in this. Well, they're separated enough. Mm -hmm. Go low enough, you can see some of the variations in them. So we have a book in there though that has about 183 varieties of oh of, of, of adiatums. Now what's this? This is a um, polypodium uh, aureum. It, polypodium meaning many footed, and it has the big feet on it right down in here. Mm -hmm. oh, I see. And it's a good basket plant. This year we just bought it in a bucket and we never taken it out of the bucket. That's what we're going in over there that you're coming mm -hmm. It gets so tall and lanky that it falls over. You just cut them down. It does have a boom on it. what this is? This is a Humata teriamina. It's a normally known as old man fern or something of this nature because the rhizomes are always have white feet, white covered feet. It's much slower growing than the Devalia trichomonoides that you have. Mm -hmm. About one third the growing rate. That's gorgeous. And one of the things you can tell too is that the fronds are much stiffer and thicker than, than yours. I think mm -hmm. it's compact. Big begonia. They're not blooming right now, but beautiful big plant. I'm just going to pan over some yeah. of this stuff. Yeah, yeah because it's uh, too much stuff to grab here. We just got stuff everywhere here. Those are orchids. Orchids, primary orchids, and uh, some orchids and some. Uh, now, when will they bloom? Yeah. They'll bloom in the phrase. Oh, yeah, I ate that right This is a, an, a miniature orchid. It has little tiny purple blooms on it. Now, I'm going to try to do this macro thing again, like Al. Well, first I'm going to zoom in on it as well as I can with the other and see what that does. Now, then you got to put it in manual in order to do that. Okay. So I think first thing is manual. I'm going to turn this off. It may be open before we leave. I'll take another picture of it. So I'm always looking for pretty pots to put them into. Because then if I get pretty pots to put them into, then I can show them in. Pretty pots to pot in. Yeah. I need a pretty pot to pot them in. I like old-fashioned, if I can get them. I like to take a picture of all these little... I thought they would show up better over here, but I'm not so sure. They're one of Thelma's neat plants here. It's a euphorbia. And it just grows silly.
Oh, we're between Indio and Bly. We're on Highway 10. We've gone through Palm Springs and this is the desert lands, the mountains over there, the sun's going down.
Yeah, now you can see yourself on TV in a little in a little while. <laughs> You mean without you knowing it? Yeah. <laughs> you can give it to me. Ha ha ha. Come on. Well, I'll run faster than that. Look at the camera. Look. You see his eyes? Yeah. This is Max. Huh? This is Max, and tiger. that's Tiger. Tiger. Tiger likes to play frisbee. Max right, likes to ready. run. You ready? Round and around and around. Max don't want nothing to do with it. He's pooped now. Oops. Here we are in Delbert's backyard. Oh, he's now. Would you take a picture about you with man and his whole Sure, I would. <laughs> you better not. You might. He's buying me a collar last week. Green yeah. <laughs> enough of that nonsense. I sat up there and said, okay, is that enough? Yeah. <laughs> Four was just on the queue, you know. I don't know what he weighs. I expect he weighs 150 pounds, probably. He's solid. Stronger as a moose. I might have cut your head off there. Rear ends again. <laughs> Got sharp enough teeth to break them bones, but they did. Thank you, Tiger. Tiger, you can see you're all worn down. Now listen to it. <laughs> not that worn down. Not <laughs> that worn down. I would, I would not want my finger in there. I've heard the pressure a dog has, you know, back on yeah. tremendous amount of pressure. Leah? Uh, Leah, you're not going to look at me, are you? Did you get that for your birthday?
What's that? Did you get that for your birthday? Huh? Did you have a fun party? I turned it on. Can you hear it? Now we're going to go over there. Can you see Grandpa Foss? No. See him now? See me? Put your yeah. eye up there. Real close. Put your eye clear close. I think you got to tip down though. No, it's up too high. It's too high. There. Yeah. There. Can you see him now? Yeah. There he is. He's smiling at us. Now we're going to go back and we're going to look at Grandpa and the coon again. Can you see him? The coon. Say hi, Grandma. Maybe she'll talk to you. Hi, Leah. Are you taking a picture? Huh? Are you taking a picture? If you say something, Leah, it'll be on there too. Are you looking at me? If you yell, we'll hear it. Not in the yelling mood, are you? No big belly left. My gosh. You're just a little speed demon, aren't you? You want it up to there? Okay. You're going backwards, aren't you? Oh, we watch the show. It's all like those girls. Oh, I like the other right. There she is. There's a pretty little girl. And there's another pretty little girl. <laughs> And there's a handsome young man. We didn't know it was a ride or whether it's Is that a handsome young man, Aaliyah? Huh? Yeah. There's another pretty girl. And here's a good looking little boy. And his pretty mother. Big boy and my and mother. And here's the word. He was even <laughs> I got sick on that. Yeah, he had Which way is your favorite thing? The rainbow. He probably like that. He is the rainbow. I got snow on that. I see. 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 We went on this one with the cable wire stretch across the two of you sitting. I hate it. And we're up in the air, and we and for some reason me and Don't uh, unless it, maybe we had not a poke holes in that. Okay, be careful. Be careful. Grandma's couch, huh? You get home, you could take them out in the backyard and get your hammer and pound them, pound them right in the ground. No. No. Okay. Yeah. And 
get my finger on it. Only when I walk in front of it. Oh, Steven, he's gonna smile at me. <laughs> gonna smile at me. Fuck it up. No, Better give me the other hand. Leah, Leah, can you smile at me? Make a funny face for me. <laughs> you want me to look through it? Yes, Lou Ann wants to look at them too, right? Oh. Where are you going to disconnect that bomb around? Where's she? That's a different kind of box. That's a different kind of box. Hi, guys. How are you going? And he's going to do it again. Well, the Cardinals would like something better than this. Yeah, then I can show you how to stand on my head. Okay. And I can stand on my head, too. Grandpa. back behind the curtain.
Don't he, Leah? Leah? When you get tired of taking the bear on the tricycle, Grandpa has to carry him, don't he? Huh? Ron and I went to Toys R Us last night, yesterday, and we got this new puppy. He's kind of noisy. Sometimes he barks and sometimes he whines. Oh, he's mad at me. He must be barking at me. Ryan really likes him. Carrie likes him. Everybody likes him. He sleeps with Ryan and keeps him company, just like Skipper did.